Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you'll be able to change the gravity in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. By doing this, you will be able to jump longer and I will also show you how that you can change the jump settings so that the players can jump higher as well. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open and you're going to want to be working on a game that you have published to Roblox Studio. And the reason you want to have the game published to Roblox Studio is because we're going to be using the game settings in the game and those are only uh, usable when you have the game published. So to find the gravity settings, you're going to want to click on the home tab and then click on game settings. And again, this is the information you would have provided for your game when you published it. Now on near the bottom of the uh, tab there on world, you're going to click on world and it will give you uh, the workspace gravity that you have available. Now there are several presets here. And again, it will come with a preset whenever you click in this area. So right now the workspace gravity is 196. So let's go ahead and see uh, what that looks like. Uh, when I play the game and this will give you an idea of how um, how high I'm jumping for the jump height as well as uh, what it looks like when I land. So you can see uh, what the gravity looks like and how high I jump with the preset settings and the gravity mostly uh, affects uh, how fast or slow you return back to the the um, the ground. So let's go ahead and go back to game settings and I'm going to change the gravity. So right here at workspace gravity, I'm going to change to something lower, something like 40. And then now I'm going to press save. And now when I play the game, you're going to notice that uh, it takes me a little longer to return back to the ground. So you can see I jump kind of for longer in the air. Okay. And so when you use a lower number uh, like 40, uh, or lower than that, then you're going to hang in the air longer. If you use a higher number, uh, you will return back to the ground quicker. So uh, that is how you do the um, gravity. And so let's return it, let's keep it at 40. So that's a nice uh, low gravity. And let's say you want to be able to jump higher. Um, and that's one thing we think of whenever we think of something with low gravity. So you're going to want to change the jump height. Let's go ahead and make it um, quite a bit larger. Let's go 20. And so I'm going to save that. And then, you know, you can always check to see what it looks like in your gameplay. Just go ahead and test your game and press play. And now you're going to see I'm going to be, be able to jump almost three times higher as before and I'll hang in the air longer. So you can see I'll be able to jump up on, you know, this roof here. And then if I jump down to the ground, you can see I was able to do that. Now, uh, sometimes uh, when you change these settings, uh, you're going to want to also change uh, your, your fall damage. So you might have um, something in your game that, you know, if you fall a certain amount of distance that your character will get damaged. So if you have that in your game, you're going to want to change that so that the character does not get damaged when they fall um, so that, you know, you can uh, jump safely uh, with the character. If you would like to do this with a script, uh, I will just show you real quickly what to do. Uh, so you can just add a script and then um, the the code that you would want to use for this would just be game.workspace.gravity. And again, you can double click things when they show up, space equals, and then you can go ahead and just set the number that you want. So 50 or whatever number you would like to use for the gravity. You can check, change it with that. Now you can uh, go ahead and do local scripts. You can also put these scripts in the uh, server script service um, over on the right hand side. And so either one of those uh, will work. So you now know how to change the gravity as well as the jumping height in the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.